All right, so this one's very similar to the previous one. Um, we're going to combine these two terms. 5 minus 9, um, that's going to be negative 4x. How do I get, how did I get negative 4? Remember, we start at 5, and we're taking away 9. So we go 9 times back. So 0 is like over here, and then you continue going. So it's going to land at 4. At negative 4. Alright. Um, and then we go ahead and combine like terms. Remember, we always move the variables on the left hand side and the numbers on the right hand side. So, right here, we're going to add 4x. Add 4x. This cancels. And then negative 6 plus 4, that's negative 2. Same exactly. And then now. Now we're going to go ahead and combine the whole numbers. So we're going to subtract 6. Why don't we subtract by 6? Right. Well, because this one's positive. Right. So this cancels. So you're left with negative 2x equals negative 8. How do I know it's negative 8? Well, remember two negatives. Let's say you're standing at negative 2. And you subtract 6. You subtract 6. You're going to land at negative 8. Right, then it's negative 3, negative 4, negative, like that. You get to negative 8. You subtract it. Um, so now I'm going to divide by negative 2. See, this is this is where a lot of students, they want to add 2. That is wrong. Right, you do not add 2. You divide by negative 2 because they're multiplying. And then two negatives make a positive. So the answer is positive 4. Cool. So hopefully this is making sense. Um, I want you to try this one over without looking at the video. Um, and just from like a fresh, fresh start. So basically it's in your mind, but now you're going to try to do it without looking at the answer or the video steps. Right?